Hello guys and welcome to the new video and in this video I am doing a new experiment as you can see I am basically doing my presentation in front of my TV so that's something I'm trying new so give me the feedback about this uh, if, if you really like it or you like my another way of doing the presentation which is about uh, which is about the putting it on in front of uh, laptop screen where I use the screencast software to basically do the um, to the presentation okay so in this video as you can see I will be talking about uh, what does a data analyst do and all about the data analyst job so yesterday I posted a video uh, by telling you the difference between the data analyst and the business analyst and with, on that I got some queries on my email about the uh, what how we can really come into the data analyst as a job I am in a testing domain and I want to shift I am a fresher and I want to shift so what are all the things uh, that one should know to really come into the data analyst job if you are trying for it then this video is useful for you or if you are uh, already in this job then I have some material for you which can make you even more successful in this job uh, by acquiring some more skills so stay tuned with that and let me know how did you find it let in the, in the comments about this video if you have any questions answers so, uh, question comments thoughts let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to glad to look at it okay so first thing what I will go uh, what I will be going to cover is the uh, data analysis life cycle what is the uh, overall life cycle of the data analysis we are going to cover that then I will going to cover day to day work of a data analyst after that I will look at uh, or I will give you some information about tools and technologies that a data analyst use and then what other skills make data analyst career successful this is where uh, if you are already an experienced data analyst then you can basically uh, utilize this four point, fourth point and uh, get the most out of your data analyst career after that we will look at uh, what do you really need to know I mean the skills that you should have if you are trying for the data analyst job then what skills you need you need to have to become the data analyst and finally the some recommendations about education certification needed for data analyst job if you are an aspiring data analyst or you want you are already in data analyst but want to advance your career some certifications I have recommended based on the, the different team members I have seen who have joined my team or you know in the data analyst circle where people have really found it useful and some guidance some sort of information I will give you as to when you should basically go for any any of the recommendation that I have gone here because there are like offline institute online institute and things like those so what what you should really do in that case okay so with that let's start with the first point which is the data analysis life cycle so this is about what really happen in the data analysis at a high level so if you are planning to come in this data analyst job this is something you should really know and I will touch briefly on each point so that you will be aware that how complex easy or uh, overall you know what's really going on with this with this thing so first thing is we uh, in the data analysis side life cycle you basically identify identify what identify data so the different data sets that you need to identify that is basically part of the problem that is being given to you for example the problem of the data analysis can be that you need to create a dashboard to show let's say the sales performance or to basically show how the hiring is basically going on if you are doing hiring analysis so to do any analysis first thing what you need to do is identify the data sets and that's what it it's basically said over here when on this point after that you need to once you have done the identification you need to collect the data set and the collection happen in a system for example you have like three different sources one is let's say the spreadsheet one is the database system and one is like maybe another database system on which from which you need to collect the data so basically what will be your data collection strategy how manual automated it is that's where what it's going on here 
then you have the clean uh, stage where you need to do the data cleaning because nothing comes as ready there are always missing data points there are always issues with the uh, you know numbers or if not no no if not the issues then you need to really understand those numbers so all of these uh, cleaning related thing uh, which goes over here even a step uh, I remember back in my day uh, is, is about uh, bringing other values or coded number for example in most of the data set you have the coded values like product group as 1, 2, 3, 4 and for 1 let's say it is a technology product, 2 let's say it's a furniture product so all of those groupings basically you need to bring in and, and, and do a little bit of cleaning and making sure that it is ready to analyze. So analyze is basically your step where you try to answer some questions like what is the trend of the let's say the sales or where you are making the profit or for example uh, what sort of uh, new products that you are launching and what the, the sales that is coming so everything that is coming mostly around what what is really going on in my business is is your analyze stage and this is basically one of the first step or the basic step in the data analysis journey or a data analyst job where people start with what's going on and then uh, in the little bit advanced stage why it is going on and the further later stage what will going to happen based on all of this history so I will talk about this in a different video altogether but this is about the different stages of data analyst slowly become advanced and uh, you basically become advanced analyst or a data scientist what I would say once you know what will going to happen in in the uh, in the in the business if you are able to do that prediction and finally what you have is the interpret I mean after you analyze you should be able to interpret for example uh, if the sales are going high is this something which is um, which is normal or is this something when you when you do the interpret part is it in line with other products or is it in line with other territory so basically you try to interpret it from a business point of view and try to give it similarly one can come and say okay based on your data the profit is going down but is it really going down which is uh, which is uh, uh, related to a product related to a region or things like those so basically you do the interpretation of the data based uh, by combining little bit more factors than what actually you have reported and then give the analysis back so data interpretation is very very important even it is one of the uh, one of the uh, part of the exam when you do IELTS or TOEFL where a data interpretation is something uh, part as the student exam when if you are planning for an MBA or anything then data interpretation is basically given over there where you have the chart and you need to interpret what's going on in that chart just a different reference to to basically tell you how important it is okay so day-to-day -day work of a data analyst what do data analysts basically do on a day-to-day -day basis first thing is uh, like we have said like I have shown in the uh, previous data analysis life cycle it will be somehow similar to that but slightly different mostly from the perspective of an analyst not on the data analysis as a domain so first thing is you gather the data based on the requirements that is being given to you then you basically clean it so the same step which mentioned over there is here as well data cleaning is important before you do any analysis or any presentation then you basically model it now the model part was not present over there uh, however modeling is is an important part of a data analyst there are different types of models and they become more and more important when the data becomes huge so you really need to know the different different data models that need one needs to create to basically do the right level of data analysis then you have the interpret so based on whatever you are uh, analysis that you are creating you know the dashboard that you are creating are you able to interpret that that's another uh, important part of a data analyst and finally present it so once you have created and interpreted the data how you are presenting it well for presentation people if you have dashboard using a tool like Tableau Power BI which commonly used by the data analyst 
uh, then it's a different thing. But if you are using presentation, then you need to know how you are going to present the slides, what will be the order of the slides. Even in case of Tableau and others, you may have seen that people use a creative ways of presenting the data, right? So this is basically your cycle, gather, clean, model, interpret and present for the data analyst job. So after that, I will, I'll show you uh, the tools and technologies that a data analyst use. So there are different tools which use, but it always starts with Excel. So Excel is like very common data analyst tool, which analyst use and day in day out, even if you reach to an advanced stage where you are using programming languages and all, Excel will still be there. So this, this will going to be uh, your fellow, even if you like it or not, but this will going to be uh, everywhere if you are doing a data analysis, an analyst job. Then you have SQL. So SQL is also very, very important because all the data that you need to gather or collect, uh, most of the time you may have to interact with the SQL. So you need to really know uh, or have a good grasp on the SQL queries as to what are SQL queries and how do you execute it. Then you have a presentation or the Microsoft PowerPoint where most commonly data is being presented to management or to the senior leaders. So having the knowledge of uh, PowerPoint or the Google Slides, uh, whatever the, power, the presentation tool that you are using is very, very important. After that, Python is nowadays like I'm, I'm seeing it from two, three years. It's being requested a lot. The reason for this is data has become huge. The crunching power of the spreadsheet goes down when you have, let's say, 1 million rows or maybe 100,000 rows with, let's say, 35 different columns. You cannot basically do an effective data analysis as compared to the spreadsheet, uh, as compared to the Python, uh, because you have the power of Python in that. I mean, I cannot really express it in, my, uh, in a way, but I have used it. And things which I used to do in spreadsheet, uh, in hours, I was doing here in minutes and everything was like automated. I just have to run the entire script and everything was ready for me in, in just a couple of minutes. Then Jupyter. Jupyter is basically nothing but uh, it's an interface for the Python very, very commonly used by the data scientist and the data analyst. That's why I thought it is, it is important for me that I, I show this because using this is very easy. If you have not already seen that, uh, some of the videos I have posted uh, related to the Python uh, where I have used the Jupyter Notebook and you may have seen that it's a very step-by-step -step scenario where you know we execute the code or we write and execute the data analysis. Then Tableau is very very commonly used for data visualization dashboard which is also a key part of your journey where you not only in this tool acquire the data have little bit of uh, uh, you know, functionality of cleaning the data, but also main part is that you can visualize advanced visualization and do the dashboarding and stories. So dashboarding and stories are two different component in which uh, you basically analyze and represent the data from two different perspectives. And Tableau has been key from last 12 to 13 years, what I'm seeing uh, for doing the data visualization analysis, dashboarding and uh, story creation. After that, uh, you have new tool. I think it's uh, Power BI. This is uh, in the market from 10, uh, I would say four or five years as far as I, I know. So this is the tool from Microsoft again for doing the similar sort of work which you can do it in Tableau like data visualization, dashboarding and story creation. And after that, what you have is the ClickSense. ClickSense is also a tool which is similar to Tableau and uh, the Power BI which is useful for doing your data visualization work or story creation work. So these are the different tools I wanted to show you for a uh, data analyst. Okay, after that, other skills that makes a uh, data analyst really successful. So this is a key for, for those who already is a data analyst, but stuck or seeing that they are not being, uh, they are not getting a progress. So first thing is very, very important, I would say, 70% uh, of the time, you will see that communication is the most important thing. How you communicate about your project, how you communicate about your analysis, how you communicate about your findings is the 
key. So trust me, give a focus over there, take some courses, develop, evaluate your current criteria and see how you are basically going to advance in your communication skills. Cannot emphasize more as to how important this is. Similar to this, what you have is the interpersonal skills, which is about how you basically talk to others. Sometimes you have situations like which is not so pleasant, but how do you manage yourself and, uh, and your posture, your language, your tone and everything and communicate with others is, is a key. So different settings requires a different expectation and how well you deliver that is a key thing. So this is an interpersonal skills. The third thing is about the networking. Networking is a key. Key from the perspective of, let's say, uh, you know the people from various different departments and uh, if they have a, let's say, relevant opening or, uh, or a relevant project, they can basically take you as an expert over there or give you the job if, you already, if they already know about you and they already know about you. I mean, three times it has happened with me that because of the networking, I have got the job. So very, very important for this. Uh, things you need to know to become a data analyst. Well, uh, the first thing is you need to understand the data and its type. There are at a high level, two different types of data. There is a categorical data and there is a numerical data, but even in that you have various different types. And one book I really recommend, which is uh, Statistics for Managers, that is useful to really uh, understand data and its types. After that, you have the basics of statistics. Basics of statistics is very important for doing the basic level of data crunching for produ producing the reports. Then you have the programming basics like Python or the SQL that you should know to really uh, excel in your career in, as a data analyst. After that, you have the data visualization in the tools, whether it is spreadsheet, whether it is PowerPoint, Tableau, Power BI, ClickSense, anything you choose, you need to know about that. That's a must for today's analyst. Data presentation, again, once you have created the visualization, how you are putting all these things together is a key. So, so see how you can basically do that, uh, how you present the data is a key and you need to basically know about this to, to make sure that whatever work you have done so far is being how it has been presented because that will going to tell whether your work is accepted or not. Okay, after that, uh, education requirement for the data analyst. Well, first thing what I, I can say personally because I am an MBA, I have got uh, MBA and uh, BBA and MBA, I would say, in finance or operations research is key if you are trying to become a data analyst. So then, one year course from IIM or IIM affiliated um, core, you know, institutes, they, these days they are doing a lot of marketing. So make sure you get a bit of a tag and I see that what feedback I have got is they are slightly more serious program and uh, much better in terms of quality. When it, comes to, uh, when it comes to delivering upon them and teaching the students. Then one year course from ISB, Indian School of Business. It is expensive, but it is worth it. I mean, people have got many jobs. Even in my team, I have taken people from the ISB. That's why I, how I can recommend that. Uh, then you have the self-study. If you already into the data analyst, I mean, if you are planning to come into this field, uh, then I would not recommend Coursera, LinkedIn or Udemy. I would recommend something which is slightly more serious. But these are the courses I recommend for those who are already data analysts and want to upgrade them. After that, I have offline and online institutes, which you know you may have seen. Uh, many institutes out there offer their data analysts. Again, same recommendation. Do it, but if you are already in this field, if you are not in this field, I am not very 100% convinced that offline or online institute can really give you uh, that level of knowledge or that level of serious uh, information which you need to possess to basically come into a data analyst. The first three is my recommendation to basically uh, you know, do a serious work in the data analysis uh, education and do a job. The last two is basically for those who are already data analysts and want to upgrade because you know that what course you need to take from these two criteria. That's basically whole reasoning behind it. Okay, 
So that's mainly I wanted to show everything about the uh, data analyst as a job, data analysis as a career. Let me know if you still has any question about the data analysis. I'll be more than happy to clarify that uh, for you. And uh, I, I wish that uh, after view viewing this video, you have no doubt. But again, every situation is different, right? So every individual situation is different, what I meant to say. So let me know what do you, what do you need to know more and I'll be happy to assist you. So with that, thank you so much for watching.